In an attempt to promote small and medium-scale enterprises, the Central Bank of Nigeria came up with policies to improve access to credit to achieve sustainable growth and development. In a search by Pricewaterhouse, Coopers, SMEs contribute 48% of national GDP, accounting for 96% of businesses and 84% of employment. Now to speak with me on this is Dr. Femi Egbesola. He is the National President, Association of Small Business Owners. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Certainly. All right, so let's just move straight into it. Give us an overview of what has happened within the SME space for the last one year. Well, um, 2019 has been eventful. Mm -hmm. We have seen a lot of um, giant strides in improving and growing the MSME sector. Uh, to start with government, government has um, tried to review quite a number of the policies, particularly related to SMEs. We have the MSME clinic being organized by the office of the vice president, vice president that, um, yeah, yes. that went around all, almost all the states. And this was also being replicated by a number of uh, states, uh, open state government replicated it and some other state governments. This has brought together a lot of agencies related to small businesses in one stop shop. Mm -hmm. And this has offered and uh, given the opportunity for MSMEs to be able to access um, some of the approvals and certificates that ordinarily were difficult to, to access. We also understand that the presidency also set up uh, what they call ease of doing business office. And uh, this has gone in a BRGP. lot. Uh, yeah, it says uh, they've gone a lot in making sure that things are easier than ever before. Uh, at a point in time, we have um, CAC, that's a Corporate Affairs Commission, crashing down their prices for business registration there as low as um, yeah, fifty percent. It was ninety days. After that time, it was extended again for another thirty days, and yet for another thirty days. And that made a lot of MSMEs who were formerly in the informal sector mm. being able to now come up and register the business for a token of five thousand naira. We also discovered that um, CBN uh, also brought up a lot of intervention fund to support the MSMEs and um, at very single digit interest. How accessible that is is a case for discussion at another time anyway. We'll still have a bit of that conversation, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, we have these windows here and there. The corporate organizations too um, did a lot in the the period to make sure that uh, they build the capacities of MSMEs. Everybody has come to realize that um, oil, a lot of attention must be paid to MSME if we want to divest from oil in our of economy. Course. And for that reason, so many organizations this time came up to organize a lot of capacity building workshops, seminars, and then um, support for MSMEs. Uh, of particular interest are the banks. The banks um, also, one way or the other, made sure that they organized not just workshop, but even trade exhibition inviting MSMEs to come and exhibit their trade. They, they also organize um, a lot of trainings, some two days training, some as much as two weeks training, free of charge to build the capacity of MSMEs. Um, and that has actually helped the growth of SMEs, MSMEs in the period. We, you will also understand that um, this circumstance we find ourselves made us have no choice than to embrace entrepreneurship. Okay. The jobs are not there again, and then if you really want to have food on your table, you just make, have to make, your, make way to have your hands meet. And that's what has um, necessitated a lot of young ones now going into business, and that has helped increase the number of MSMEs. If All you look right, at so the, um, in terms of the, um, we know that the CBN came up with the 65% loan to deposit ratio did you see that impact on activities within the sme space in any way it's a very good development uh, that's a wonderful policy but we are yet to feel the effect one thing is to make a policy another thing is to see it in the lives of businesses mm -hmm. um, we are yet to see the effect for example in our association we've not been able to have easy access to that fund and then um, one thing is to say you, are, you give out 65% of your profit ratio. Easy access of yeah. that credit Yeah, is another very thing important. is for it to be accessible and for it to even go to the right number of people. For example, if 65% um, uh, of my bank is uh, 65 uh, billion naira, I can decide to spread that 65 billion naira to 100,000 people. I can also decide to give it to just 20 people. I will still say that I've lent it to the MSME sector. And so, is, is there a situation where the banks are still very careful with the kind of people that they are loaning to, ensuring that they are giving people that they can get their money back? Yes, I think um, uh, it's, still become, it's still very, very, very difficult to access funds from the banks. Uh, some of the banks, very few of the banks have liberalized their access to funds, but quite a number are still uh, following the old way. And that makes it difficult for the unstructured 
uh, business owners to actually have mm. access. And then um, if we want to move forward, if we want to follow the likes of the Asian world, we just must liberalize access to fund. You have not to only pay attention to those who are structured, you have to find a way of bringing uh, to, your, to your net those who are also unstructured. If the microfinance banks can do it, Mm -hmm. I believe the banks too can do it. But what is your organization, your association, what is it doing in terms of hand-holding these unstructured SMEs so that they can access these credits faster? The first we do is that we try as much as possible to get them structured. We help them build Very structures important. that will make them uh, attractive to the banks. The other is that uh, we also approach banks on their behalf to get certain funds on their behalf and make uh, the conditions less stringent. Okay. We try to liberalize their access to finance, but you will understand that um, the number of MSMEs in Nigeria goes beyond just what we have in our net. Uh, we have about 12,000 members, but uh, if you look at the recent statistics, we have about 41 million MSMEs, meaning that what we do in our association is just a drop in the ocean. <laughs> we, yes, we, we need to have um, a more strategic approach to making sure that um, these similarly unstructured ones are made to have access to certain kind of funds that will grow their business. Because without fund, it will be difficult to grow businesses. Mm -hmm. And in terms of um, the regulatory agencies, would you suggest that they are working in tandem with the current and future needs of these SMEs? So that at least we see some form of increase in capacity. Well, I will not totally agree with you on that. I think a lot of work needs to be done to actually um, put the agencies on their toes okay. uh, such that uh, it will be easier for MSMEs to get what they need from the different agencies at a particular time with very minimal cost. Um, at the moment, we, you will discover that quite a number of agencies that are related to MSMEs are arbitrarily increasing their fees. You must have heard of uh, NAFDAQ increasing their fees at uh, some point in time to as much as 800% mm. at a time after a lot of um, uh, publicity and then um, protests uh, the price was jacked back but now it's going to come up again this coming January how many of the MSMEs can afford to pay all these fees you also discover that if you want to go for ordinary certification of your business instead of uh, getting it for one two days the next two weeks the next three months you are still there yes, pursuing it and it. that does not support ease of doing business it also makes more people want to go the illegal way because they mm -hmm. can't get it legally on time as that's when they want it all right. Unfortunately, because of time, this is okay. all we can have, but I wish you had so much time. Thank you so much for joining me this Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.